When you try to save your work here, we obviously want to save it as either a GIMP file or if you're using Photoshop, use a Photoshop file. So just file save is fine because we already called it activity two. So we're all good. And we need to export the file. Now, uh, if you're using Photoshop, you can do save as. Unfortunately, in the last edition of GIMP, they changed it to say export. If you try save as, and trust me, this won't work. It's painful. But if you use export, then it pops open a window. And the default export choice right now is PNG, which stands for Portable Network Graphics. Ironically, PNG is exactly what we want. In other lessons, I might have told you to use a JPEG, but JPEG does not understand transparency or see-through. And we clearly have a lot of transparency here in order to make this circle effect work. So PNG does understand transparency. So we want to export this as activity2.png and we're going to export it. If I already have one there, then it will probably ask me for another one. There's a compression level anywhere from nine to one to one or even zero. Uh, I'm just going to choose one in the middle, but really a default is just fine for this assignment. Compression just means a lot of compression to a smaller file size or not a very much compression at all. So somewhere in the middle is fine for me and I hit export. Okay. And so now I've got a picture that's got that ready to go and I can upload it to my Weebly site. However, if your Weebly site has a white background or your website has a white background and you were really wanting to show off all the work that we did to make this a circle, because it only makes sense if you know that, then there's one extra step you can do. And that is that we can create a new layer that's a different color and upload that. So quick steps. Step number one, if you have the color right here, then that's great. All you do is say layer, new layer, or you can come over here and click on this button like I'm going to. That's the new layer button. In this case, we're going to call this BG just because I'm too lazy to type in background. And you'll see here that this is my foreground color. This is my background color. So if I choose foreground color, I'm choosing whatever's in this box, which for me is green, which is perfect because I want a different color background. I hit OK, and my picture just went away, and I'm going to panic. No, you're not. I'm going to say, hey, look, my BG, or background file, is on top of a good part. So I can either drag it down or use these green arrows to push it down. And now I can see my beautiful white circle with a nice either green background or whatever random color it is that you've chosen. And when I upload this to my Weebly site, hopefully the green will blend in with the theme or the design that I've chosen already. But you can definitely tell that I worked hard to make this circle. So in this case, again, I'm just going to save my XCF file. That's fine because in, in the real world, I can make this invisible. And there's my color corners back that are transparent or invisible. Or I can export this. Once again, if you're using the GIMP, I'm sorry, but you must say file export. We'll leave it as a PNG, but we don't want to erase the good one that we had before with the see-through or transparent backgrounds. So I'm just going to call this dash BG. So activity dash two dash BG. So it reminds me this one has the background. Leave it as a PNG file. That's just fine. And when I export it, and when I export it, there we go. Uh, it remembers the compression level for last time. That's fine. You can leave it at nine or zero. It doesn't really matter. It's just going to be a small size difference and compression level. And there's my image. So I'll just save that one more time because it had the little star beside it. And this is now ready to go. So if you have a white background, you can upload both of them to your Weebly site. If you have a dark background on your design, you can upload one, the one with the transparent colors, and it will l literally look like the corners are invisible or you can upload both. But that's just an easy way to save. Please make sure you do the PNG. Otherwise, when you go to put it up, you won't have the transparent corners. And that's activity two. Well done.